The latest 7 star raid in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is here and this time around we got the grass and fighting type starter from Kalos Chestnut. Now Chestnut is overall a mess starter and in competitive Pokemon it is more often seen as a bulky Pokemon that is capable of taking hits. It's not really known for its offensive capabilities. So I set myself a challenge to get a sweep with Belly Drum Chestnut. No one will see this coming so it should be easy right? Wrong. This is the team that I built myself and the whole plan is to hazard stack weaken anything that could live a plus six hit from chestnut and pivot around until the opportunity to set up presents itself this was way harder than i thought it was going to be after two full days of trying and multiple failed attempts i was ready to give up until we found this battle a matchup where chestnut might actually be able to sweep if we fail this one i don't know if i have any more in me all right, so we're going to see a Guja up against our Cinderace lead, which is uh, not ideal for us, but not the worst thing in the world, seeing as Guja doesn't have the best defense. We can just turn into a bug type U-turn out of here, and we should be able to do a pretty decent chunk to this Guja, I think. Yeah, that, that does uh, that's some good damage. I can go into my Assault Vested Electros, and if this Guja wants to go for like Acid Armor or anything like that, we can just go ahead and Dragon Tail it out of here. Earthquake, let's call that a prediction, shall we? That was an incredible prediction by me. So I'm just going to go ahead and Dragon Tail now. And uh, he's going to go for the Draco. He's going to end up missing. Ooh, that is nice for us. Get out of here, Gudra, with this Dragon Tail. A lot of damage done to the Gudra, which is perfect for us. We're going to see the Fortress come out now. Okay, so we drag out the Fortress. Um, I don't really want this fortress to be able to uh, set up too many layers of hazards, but he's actually just going to go for the bug buzz. Okay, so I do want to just, you know, discharge this thing, do a decent amount of damage, which we do in fact do a decent amount of damage. And then I want to go for a slow U-turn, slowly get myself out of here. And he's quick clock fortress. Okay, that is <laughs> very, very interesting. I cannot say I was expecting that to be something that i would was gonna find today quick glove freaking fortress i low-key just want to go out into chestnut click belly drum and then just see what we're able to do from there so that's that's exactly what we're gonna do i'm just gonna belly drum right in front of this fortress and, uh, let's see what this fortress decides to do it's it's quick glove, so i'm expecting a little bit of everything it goes for the poison jab that actually did a lot more than i expected it to do but i can now just go ahead and i think trailblaze right i think not not trailblaze i don't know why i said trailblaze i meant drain punch like i have to go for drain punch obviously uh which means we're gonna get all of our health back we're gonna see the hatterene come in here which is a very interesting choice actually uh, I am going to Terrestrialize, and I'm going to go straight for a Trailblaze. I would like to imagine that a plus 6 Trailblaze would Oko at Hatterene. Just in case it doesn't, though, I'm going to Terrestrialize into a Rock-type, so I'm not weak to either Psychic or Fairy. And hopefully, uh, we're just able to kill it with this Trailblaze. Boom. Hatterene dead. Let's go, Chestnut. Let's go, Chestnut. Is it finally time for Chestnut to shine? I have been at this for two days, guys. I kid you not. I spent the entire day yesterday and the entire day of today trying to get a chestnut sweep. Now, you might say you're playing against people who have Quick Claw Fortress. To that, I say chestnut's not very good, so I will take it. I will absolutely take it. I do not care, and it just feels nice to finally be in a position where chestnut might be able to sweep. I don't think this is going to matter. We're just going to go for a Drain Punch once again. Another kill for the Chestnut. Crosslass, uh, you are not going to be able to kill me from full, no matter what. I'm actually faster than you anyways. Are you Focus Ashed? You're not Focus Ashed. Get out of here. Another kill for the Chestnut with the Trailblaze. We are fast. We are strong. And we have a whole ass rock on our head. That's Shiny Meowskrata. Shiny Meowskrata low-key looks nice. But this is going to be the final kill for the Chestnut. Drain Punch comes off. He's going to Terrestrialize. Kind of killing the mood here a little bit, buddy. I was ready for the kill. Actually going to be a Poison type, which... Drain Punch is not going to be very effective against, but it should still do a lot of damage. It, in fact, it just Oko's Chestnut, you are my go. I have been at this for hours and hours on end, and it feels so good to finally be able to say, I got a sweep 
with belly drum chestnut. 